All right, uh, welcome to Dio Kasplat. Sadly, Leslie cannot join us today. She has family stuff going on, but uh, we will carry on and surge forth, and hopefully Lessa will not be the only one of us alive at the end of this. <laughs> That's the goal, anyways. So begins our adventures in the sandbox. may go down as one of the quieter episodes. I can unmute my mic and you <laughs> hear the kids screaming and yelling and watching TV. Yeehaw. Totally. It sounds like an excellent plan with absolutely no drawbacks. So how do we want to do this? Protect the caravans? Kill everything else? I don't know, is this something we need to actually try and do tactics for? Because let's be honest, know, our we, tactics we stay, are pretty terrible. Should we just stay here at the caravans? Or should we try to... That's usually what I do. I remember back, back in the day, the last time I did this, did put some crowd control up around the uh, these choke points. I mean, it's kind of generally better to engage them farther away from the caravans, but... All right, important phone call. Came in with perfect timing. Nice. Welcome back. So, Chai, you're a, you're a Walking Dead fan, right? Um, Since the first comic books of it came out eons ago. <laughs> But um, I haven't seen the episodes in quite some time, actually. I probably should re-watch that. Just finishing uh, season four, and for the first time I watched an episode and, and didn't want to watch another one. <laughs> but what happened in, in, season, in season four? Well, ba basically I, I felt like I needed to go watch something cheery and happy, like... Uh, Requiem for a Dream, or The Green Mile, <laughs> or Bambi. Yeah, there's this. Yeah. See, it's getting to the point with me where I hear people talking about it, and I don't remember those parts. So that's how I know it's time for me to probably rewatch that stuff. I just watched the episode The Grove, which is the one where... Uh, Carol and Tyrese and the two little girls. Oh yeah! Oh my God, that yeah, that's a hard. That's probably like the second like hardest episode to to watch or get over. You haven't gotten to the first one, in my opinion. <laughs> there's Goody. there's some of the comics that you're just like, oh my God, really? This is a comic book. The show is way toned down compared to the comics, definitely. I might go back and read the comics later or something, but I think I'd rather just enjoy the TV show. Seriously? Webbed? Nice. By what? You know there's a spell for that. Okay, you're the cleric, right? Yeah. So you probably have a really bunk reflex save, and you probably have <laughs> mediocre strength. So yeah, you get webbed. That's kind of the way that works. I have a 19 strength. Eh, it might get you out in a few rounds. It's just I didn't see any casters or anybody labeled a caster. The, the um, scorpions. The raiders? Scor yeah, this guy just cast a spell. This guy didn't have time to cast a spell. I noticed that also in the earlier design stuff, which is what we're playing right now, some mobs are multi-class. I don't think that's true for some of the higher-up stuff. I think mobs are just wizards, clerics, whatever, you know? They're not. That's particularly true in Gwilin's stain. Yeah. 
you have the fighter mages in there. Yeah. That's straight out of Classic Dungeons and Dragons. Elven fighter mage. You guys are getting all the fun over there. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep a, a plate bearer going when I see mobs coming. Standing on a pile of scorpions, hacking away at their friends that are still alive. Here's a Volcora trip. priest. Oh no, I sold yeah, my necklace. Just, that Squirrel Raider just dispelled me. I don't have any buffs in the first damn place. <laughs> This is another one of those quests that's really good for a monster mana because it's got a bunch of names. Speaking of which, where's the name we're trying to kill? He might be up top. Like way up top. Oh, archering yeah, at us. there he is. So what is Lessa doing that she's not here? Uh, family stuff with her daughter. I think something school related. Which is funny because around here there's no school right now. The teachers are on strike. Wow. These days there's kind of about a decade. There's been about one school district in the area at least that goes on strike every year. When we had that whole Wisconsin protest thing a few years ago, and uh, governor was basically cutting the budget for a lot of education stuff, and then uh, telling people that they better get in class or the sheriff's going to come and get them. There yeah. was a there was a teacher. There's a lot of union employees, which included educational employees. Uh -oh. And there was a teacher that said, I'm not intimidated by any of your political threats. I'm a middle school teacher. <laughs> she had a sign. And then there was another lady standing next to her that, that had a, uh, a sign that said, I'm a doctor. Get your release notes here. <laughs> she was handing people excuses for not being at work. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Barbarian's so broke, can't even get potions. You can get it from the guild vendor, can't you? Oh, you're broke. You need broke. Money. Gotcha. <laughs> the guild vendor still wants these little shiny things. That I, I don't thought have. you meant. Uh, I thought you meant like you referring to not being able to drink potions while you were raging. Oh no, no. Although, for some stupid reason, it still doesn't let me drink the Cure Disease ones. Which I thought was kind of dumb. But, I have the uh, Dwarven Drinking Enhancement anyway, so... Any potion I drink is Cure Disease. My alcoholism is supposed to be a disease, and it cures a disease. <laughs> Does that mean you can't get drunk? It probably means I'm better when I'm drunk.
These have good trips. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let me up. I just destructed that priest. Forgot I had that spell. It's a great spell. It's the one that you don't have to be touching him in order to activate. Yep. Where is my soul stone? There we go. Screen chat. Did it? Were there any kills, like champions or anything, up the uh, the hillsides? Uh, I don't know. I don't know because I don't there know where the last remnants was. Around, but... Yeah, it says a chest over here. If people shot them from here, the stones would be here, because they appear where the person that killed them is, and not where the corpse was. Which, if you're gonna have stuff like that spawn, that's a good place to do it. Well, I still don't quite understand why. Don't finish yet. I still don't quite understand why they're not going in your inventory automatically. Uh, finishing it, put your voice on. I actually asked about that a little while ago. Did you get an answer? No. I have a suspicion that it has to do with the fact that it has to roll. Like it's not a set amount. That's my guess. I gotta go AFK for just a minute. Okay. Did she actually take you to the desert? Yeah, she does. Alright, should we do the Fallen Shrine one, the Mines one, or the uh, the Scorpion one? Oh, there's also the, um... The tombs. The tombs. I, I didn't mention those on purpose, actually. <laughs> I'm not exactly a fan of the tombs. What, Necro 3? No, not those ones. Uh, she's like Whiz King the, and uh, stuff? Not Whiz King, but the other one that's out there. The two that are next to Whiz King. The Physician and... Yeah. The, the two quests that are basically exactly the same quest. Pretty much. <laughs> Except one's, isn't one like one level lower? I'm not sure. I think one's 11 and one's 10. I just remember invis zerging those the other day and meant, oh yeah, I remember these. <laughs> and I usually don't invis zerg. These guys talk me into it. I'm normally like wanting to play through stuff. But these dudes were like, yeah, we could just invest through these and kill the boss. And I was like, I remember this. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have to twist your arm very much on that one? No, no, not at all. Yeah, some of those quests are just better to just get over with as fast as you can. So which one are we doing? I don't know. Nobody answered. That means I have to pick. Did we do Whisper Doom yet? No. I was gonna, that one's level 11. I was doing the sandbox ones. We're going to play in the sands today. We'll probably do Whisper Doom next life, I'm guessing. What? What? Next life, he says. <laughs> Same with the uh, Necro 3. We'll do Necro 3 next time around. Yeah. You mean you'll do Necro 3, <laughs> and I'll pike at the entrance and collect the XP. Now, two of those quests aren't actually that bad. The one, and then there's the one where you just hand the bag off and get the get the uh, disease cure. Yeah. It, that one isn't that bad either. So three out of the four, but the rat quest is like, oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to kill zombies and feed their meat <laughs> to rats so that they can go to, yeah, whatever. You should be talking to someone who is, like, their favorite one. All right, let's do Purge the Fallen Train. <laughs> Which is where again? Desert. Off to the right. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The most anticlimactic boss fight ever. Really? Well, I would like to use the boss. Yeah, he spawns and he gets his ass kicked in like two seconds. I don't know. I would say Party Crashers can be the most anticlimactic one ever. <laughs> That's actually funny to watch, though, if you do it right. So Hobby's Refuge. Teleport straight from the boat, ladies and gentle orcs. Don't even I screw have to, around. I gotta sell stuff from the on the boat. Yeah, if you talk to the guy right in front and say, I want to use the far shifter and I want to go to the desert. It is a convenient thing that. So we did Shroud yesterday as bravery bonus on Elite with no healers. And these guys thought that this was a good idea. Oh, yeah, we're, this, we're just so overpowered, blah, blah, blah. Just for like, reference, was this um, Permadeath? No, on Sarlona. Okay. okay, just wanted to and, check. And I was on a level 18 Barbarian, and me and one other guy had a Mineral 2, and I was like, who here has boss beaters? Because you know how much Silence. DR this guy has on Elite? <laughs> Probably more than most of us hit for. And people were like, yeah, whatever, you know, so much power creep, blah, blah, blah. And at that point, from that point forward, that whole run was nothing but entertainment value. I <laughs> completely dismissed it for anything else. I was like, yeah, I wish I had, like, bandy cam or something on my, like, I wish I could go download that to just record this steaming pile of fail that this is going to turn into, because this is awesome. How far did you guys get? Um, the first time we did it with no healers, and we got to part four, and then just got waxed, because nobody could stand <laughs> up to the level of fire damage on Elite, and people standing in on the blades and doing stupid stuff. Um, it ended up being me, two warlocks, and like one other guy, I think he was playing just a straight fighter, and um, being the last four people, and then... Uh, one of the warlocks and myself died, and it was just one lock soloing it when the fighter went link dead. Like, he disconnected. <laughs> so it was just the one guy soloing it. And he was like, dude, I'm not even getting this guy down 5% every time, every round. Like, I'm not screwing with this. <laughs> so we go back in, and this time we've got one healer uh... who is a level 14 cleric. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, 1,100 mana. And, I, you know, he's mana potioning us to victory. And dude, I was like, yeah, this is what it takes to do nothing. a Shroud on Elite. I, back at level, when Shroud was at level, and it yeah. had been out for a little while, I solo healed it at level on Elite without using a single potion of mana. I did that on a Bard. Of course, that's, that's when you could actually, like, debuff the hell out of him. So... People had been, were like deep up in them, and you know. Oh hit for like yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Well, we all had boss beaters too, so. Yeah. Like it, Wave of that, Exhaustion that was, was a great spell. Lots of melee people, like three or four boss beaters, which is terrible. Yeah, they're gonna get you very far. And no. I was taking oh, aggro, and for me to take aggro and have you know, crappy mitigation because barbarian, <laughs> it's just like yeah, this is not gonna work. And for the folks watching at home, I think all zero of you. <laughs> There's a couple. Uh, I don't. I don't see and them. People. People check. watch the. People watch the. Uh, the I was going to say the, the yeah, uh, vision of destruction episode. That's a perfect example of how a raid's <laughs> not going to succeed. If we had boss beaters, we would have won that. Yeah, totally. If if we would have just went and bought either had an artificer to do. One of the two, and then just bought like holy weapons or something like that, and just put silver on everybody's weapon. Then we had an artificer. Yeah. Yeah, people weren't doing the boss beater thing, though. You made us use our weapons that we yeah. got for being iconic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was. Um, that shroud, the one thing that impressed me was everybody hung in, stayed there for the second run, did it, and then eventually we succeeded. 
Yeah, that's kind of a rarity these days. If it, if it doesn't go right the first time. Well, Shroud people... came out in 2008. Yeah. And it's probably 2010. That was the first time I've ever seen a difficult run. Oops. Been, what, five years? Yeah. Usually these days, the hardest part is part two. You get someone not not gelling with the rest of the party on how to separate stuff. You could tell who had uh, the ability to hear anything that was being said in that part immediately. Like, don't kill that guy yet. Don't kill that guy yet. Are we, don't kill that are guy we turning yet. the torches off or on? On. That one said it wouldn't let me use it. I think it got used and just didn't light for some reason. Um... Yeah, if two people do it, like I just turned this one off, it doesn't matter because it already counted it for us. Okay. Once we're on the increment counter, we're fine. But I couldn't believe how many people just dismissed, you know, or oh, whatever, power creep. We got this. <laughs> this will be no problem. 25 minutes tops. Like, yeah, but there's, you still have to get through the DR. It's pretty funny, though. Yeah, yeah. After I just wrote it off, I was like, dude, I wish <laughs> I was taping this right now. <laughs> Man, op get open broadcast software. It's free. You can record that stuff pretty easy. That's what I'm using. Open broadcast software? Yeah. Yeah, OBS. Or exploit. That... Okay, because I usually use Bandicam. They just put the Bandicam logo in there in the lower corner. This one doesn't have anything. No wonder works. It's great. The funny thing is, is I actually work for a company that makes video editing applications, but we don't have anything that does screen cap. I wish I had a little bit better video editing software, but I'm cheap. I went free. Using you could you could certainly spend like an arm and a leg in a hurry. Oh yeah, you can. I use uh, Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, the couple uh, videos I put together, I think most notably was the Pax East thing I did couple years ago where I videoed the demo. That's what I used. I mean, it does most of what I needed to do, so the only thing I found that I couldn't do on it that I wanted to was overlay a different video on top of the other video, or a different video yep. kind of thing, but yep. still have the audio from the first video playing. Yep. But I... In our apps, we call that picture-in-picture. Picture. Yeah. Picture-in-picture. I was able to kind of circumvent it by exporting the audio from the first video into a, an audio file and then overlaying the audio file over everything and then just splicing them together. That was a lot of editing, though. That's kind of how you did it in the analog days. That was a lot of editing. Yep. Yeah, we have a knowledge base article written up just for that because it's one of the widely requested features. Picture in picture? Yeah. I bet. Well, I want them to see my face when I pwn those noobs. <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of people recording in video games or in YouTube channels. And... Mm -hmm. Well, it's, a, it's the thing to do these days. We're on Steam nowadays, too. Well, but you can't screen capture, so how are they doing that? Um, people want video editing software. Oh, so they'll capture it and then use your software to video edit it? Yeah. Gotcha. No, we just had uh, Dota came through Seattle again a couple months ago. It's kind of scary how... I didn't hear the numbers this year, but last year it was pretty big.
Jeez. Everything in here named? Yep. Permanent chest. Another one of those quests I think I need to run on my main characters just for monster manual stuff. Here comes the wraith that's been laying there for 5,000 years just to get beat down. Bye bye. <laughs> Who dares disturb my whoosh whoosh? Didn't even get his dialogue out. Man, that all we got. That's it. Bravery streak. Wow. Ooh, solar warning, sir. Well, the base XP of this quest is 2,740 <laughs> XP. That. Yeah, it's a walk and up. considering I got over 9,000, that's yeah, pretty good. Decent. 80% first time elite run, 50% bravery bonus. 20% first time. 10% VIP. And 5% for the voice. Uh, let's go do the mine one over in the Knoll territory. How come the dwarves are faster than the wolf? Because he's probably got the uh, fast defense or quick defense, and I'm a barbarian. Well, I know why. It just seems so strange. We dwarves are natural sprinters. We are what fast. What makes you feel any better? The wolf is faster than the human in full plate. Well, that makes sense. Hey, let's see if we can get a uh, bloodstone. <laughs> if we pull one, that'll be so awesome. It'll be the first one I've seen drop in the chest. It'll be nine years too late. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> useless now. I mean, come on. No, I wouldn't say they're useless. It's just, you know. I'd probably still use it on this character right now, actually. <laughs> I would just forget to put my voice in every time and be 5% away from you guys. Aren't you already 5% okay. behind us? That's all right, because I'm almost level 14. <laughs> yeah, the guy's actually here. Yeah. Oh, these mummies in their status attack. We should totally like take a screenshot of the chest and. and Holy drops. shit! I got <laughs> one. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> right after I said it was useless. <laughs> I got a first cloak of fail, dude. I'll trade you. Coming right up. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. No, I guess I'll use it. I mean, yeah. I got the yeah. freaking black gem that I'll never use. Yay. Congrats. Oh, wait. Man. I don't have enough shards to reroll. God oh, damn it. That was hilarious. That's pretty funny. Did you take a screenshot of that so we could tell Lester that we actually got one? Yeah, you know, these well, it's a whole those, video. Those, those are useless. I don't know. What Sold else drops out here? Just going to say everything's useless, so I get it. Hell yeah, you just be negative and you'll... you'll, you'll you know, spectral gloves, luck. eh, whatever. There's, your, yeah, there's totally. your will item for the next time. I would totally use that on my swashbuckler. In fact, I almost... I was like a minute away from getting one and someone sniped it dirt cheap off the auction house. I was so pissed. Oh, yeah. I'm well, talking like 4,000 platinum or something. I got a uh, golden orb of death or whatever it's called for dirt cheap like that. Somebody put it on there with no buyout for just super cheap, and I just put a bid on it because then they can't cancel it. And it just sat there. Next thing you know, it's in my mailbox. Yes, I got two amethysts. <laughs> Hey, this um, light armor has death block and a blue slot. There you go. I don't wear light armor, though, but somebody might. Can 
I say if we have if we end up having a, t a total party wipe, then we all just play warlocks because I think it's the only way I'll play one. <laughs> just take turns piking. Yeah. I can't decide what I want to do yeah, next time. Yeah, I don't time. have warlock I can't decide if I want to try and do a, a staves build, a rogue, uh, rogue crossbow guy, or a, a warlock. Mechanics are decent too. Well, that's what, I like the, what they did with them. Yeah, it's basically like a rogue acrobat or a rogue mechanic would be the two choices for rogue, anyways. I'm trying to play stuff like I haven't played. Right. That's. That's why those two. Also, a throwing build would be an option. See, that's why I rolled this barbarian, but then I tr'd my old barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to see that not much has really changed. It's like, yeah, the semantics of it changed, but. You still get hit for a lot, and you still deal decent damage. <clears throat> I think I need to uh, get hit take the two, two fighter levels out of my Barbarian. <clears throat> I did that to my Paladin way back in the day. Still my Paladin still has hit. two levels of fighter, which that I don't mind so much. You almost kind of need the two levels of fighter. I mean, I know Lester will disagree, but to really... Make use. It depends on what you're doing, but I mean, it's, it's three feats for a, a sword and board paladin because you get tower shield for free as a fighter. Right, and that's my point. Like, you get you get tower shield for free, and then you get your that extra uh, fighter bonus feat at level two. You get you get a bonus feat at level one and two, plus tower a, shields. Yep. Yeah. Which is why two levels of fighter is so stinking good. And you're not really losing a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, it's just a capstone, really. A, a capstone and a level four spell, basically. But yeah. the capstones weren't... I don't know, they, they redid the capstones and it was not overly... Should impressed. we clear up the shrine up there? I See, I took it neighbor. to take Cleave and Great Cleave, and I'm wondering if I should just ditch them. Because nowadays, the enhancements... Well, and you don't I... need uh, Overwhelming Critical for... You don't need Cleave or Great Cleave for Overwhelming Critical now, right? Yeah. Which was part of the part of the reasoning when I did that, too. I don't know. It's one of those things I'll probably take a look at at some point. I, I found Cleave and Great Cleave were useful... Even at epic levels on my on my paladin. Well, the other thing is, if you want to be in uh, in dreadnought, like having cleave uh, really helps that tree. Yeah, because I would just cycle through like cleave, great cleave, and then a the couple yeah. uh, cleave-like abilities from uh, dreadnought, and I would just like clean stuff up like nobody's business in particular. Especially when I was doing my. You have to take a feat and not use it, though, because you're using the enhancements version of it. I don't have the enhancements version of it, so. Yeah, but you, they, they were like different. Uh, I don't think we need to keep going in this area. We can go to another one. Uh, what were they? They were on different cooldowns. Nowadays, they're on the same cooldown. Uh, well, how long has that been? Because it wasn't that long ago that I was doing it, and I could have swore they were on. Different cooldowns. Cleave and Great Cleave are on different ones, but the enhancement, like in Night of the Chalice, there's like a, what is it called, Exalted Cleave or something like that. And then yeah. there's another, there's another version of that, and those are on the same cooldowns as Cleave and Great Cleave. So, in order to be in Legendary Dreadnought and be able to use all of those Cleave abilities, you need to take Cleave as a feat. But then if you use your Exalted Cleave, the regular one goes on cooldown. So you're essentially not using the feat that you took and just taking it to unlock that one ability. Yeah. 
It's another but suggestion I, don't, I put on the forum. I don't have that anyways, so. <laughs> yeah, I... Because my, my Paladin is heavily invested in Defender and into Vanguard as well. Uh, inventory's still full. Yeah, I was like total. I maxed out uh, Defenders for the much as much as I really needed it to get like the the full stance with the con and dex and hit points. Um, I, I would just I would just like wait into like two toe Tobias and just when I was farming for my Jibber's Blade, yeah. I would just like cycle through all the, all those stuff and you know I had really good resets on them. Because there was that, that small Is percent chance stuck? that That's fine. Um, one one of the abilities would reset the other one. Yeah, I didn't have the action points for to do much in the Knight of the Chalice tree. So okay, so this is weird. The curse removal potion does not trigger the dwarven. thing that allows you to get removed disease, remove poison. That's weird. Due to drinking. Yeah. They should bug report that. Get on a turbine, fix it. I know we know you're watching. That's what I would TR next if I could figure out all of his feats would be my paladin. When I finished my, my paladin life, I did the epic TR as well and got uh, Colors of the Queen. His DPS was a bit lower back in the day, but he was almost unkillable. Oh, scroll of greater teleport. I'm going to hold on to that one. Uh, maybe not. I really need to uh, sell stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I don't have extend, do I? The march has to do. Really? Uh, yeah. We have to steal four more things in order to get completion. That's in a different area. Yeah, I don't I don't really have any plans in taking the fire levels out of my paladin. The barbarian I do, because it's the two feats that he's using are Improved Sunder and Stunning Blow, and I just don't tend to use them as much. Yeah. And they don't tend to land as, as well in the higher levels. Somebody made a good suggestion on the forums today about that. They said instead of making Kenzai just another DPS machine when they do the fighter pass, they said if you take a tactical feat, give it like a 5% chance to proc just on regular swings. So like trip and sunder? Any tactical feat. That's so cool. because of the fact that fighters have metric tons of feats, that would allow them to even take like the ones that people normally don't use a lot, like sap. And that would become mildly useful. Yeah. I like it. And then instead of fighters being the DPS self-healing machines that everybody else is, they would end up being the tactics machine like they should be. Yeah, they'd actually, they'd actually serve a, a purpose. I just read that one today. It's a good suggestion. My fighter is only a 12 fighter, though. He's got six levels of ranger and two levels of monk. Yeah, 
And it would be fighter feats only. That was the other one. So it has to be like on a odd or a even level. Oh, so you'd have to take it as your bonus feat? As a as a fighter feat. Ooh. That would probably I don't have a problem with that, but that'd be tough for coding. All right, voices. Well, I don't think it'd be that hard because um, they already know which feats you are taking as a bonus feat. Right, but does the ability does the ability would have to then reference it? What do you mean? The ability would you'd have to be able to it has to be able to differentiate between. A feat that you take as a normal feat, and the feat you take as a fighter feat. Even though you can take the same feat, neither one. We're running back to town for a minute. I am. Well, they must have code in to detect that because Fred knows what you took where. Right. Yeah, but does I guess the the question is. Well, no, they do have to know what feats you take as bonus feats because yeah. those are the only feats you can put in the bonus feat slot. Well, they so do, that... but. You're you're asking for that ability to then be able to recognize that. Yep. Which it would have to do, like every time. It's. Uh, that could be a huge lag increase. Yeah. That's what I'm saying it's. I don't think you want to tie it into bonus feats specifically, but the idea is sound. The one thing I like about tying into the bonus feats is that it would, it would give them, you know, incremental like power, or so to speak. It'd make them a little bit more useful, and uh, let them do something that's not, you know, out there for anybody else. But it wouldn't make them, oh my god, so powerful, because they'd be procking like crazy because they have all those feats. See, that's why I think it would be cool if you took then stun and sunder and like improved trip and all that stuff, sap. Well, I like the idea of not having to, to each. click everything all the time. Yeah, and you still wouldn't know when it's going to proc, but you know that you're going to have like 1 in 20 swings on average it's going to proc. Per feet, so you you'd see a little added extra crowd control there from time to time. I mean, they already have things like warlock confusion, which is kind of like that. So the tech might be already be there in the code. I got well, a heavy dense wood shields here. Sham, if you're looking for that you got what? That two retributive heavy dense wood shields. One of spear block and one of hammer block. Uh, sure. Stun works like that anyhow. Gets X percent chance to proc a stun, but then it has a fixed DC on that. Where the one oh, that I... Oh, there's 14 though. That's fine. With the one that you would... uh get from feeding out your fighter that way it would use your DC. And it has a blue slot on it too, so you lucked out. Bonus. Let's do, uh, let's raid the Volker room. Call it a day. What do you guys think of the, uh, Deepwood Sniper Pass? I had I a chance it was to check it out. All right. Yeah, 
in my opinion, they should be using that to incentivize more pure ranger archers because while arcane archer can be taken as a racial, deepwood stalker cannot. So somebody either has the ranger levels or they don't. You know what I mean? Right. One of my biggest gripes against that whole thing is the many shot penalty. It's like I oh, took yeah. enough class levels to get this thing that I can use, and then I used a whole bunch of enhancements, points, and gear to get this other thing, which you're going to tell me that I can't use half the time because I used this other thing. It's like, uh. Doesn't make sense. It'd be better if that penalty was like incremented down to I mean, even that would be a vast improvement well in Deepwood Stalker Core 18 for instance they could just make the penalty non-existent right. you no longer incur the penalty so the monk archer can have their two bursts and then the ranger who has 18 levels of ranger at least can have their many shots and always have their double shot after the fact and you can get like, you know, 55 double shot nowadays. Right. Oh, it's worth it. The thing they need to do is get, uh, make Sharati actually a decent choice for bows. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible, but the people that are getting the most use out of that don't carry bows. Yeah, it's either uh, the shuriken throwers or your... Uh, First Life Wizards who uh, want to be playing in higher difficulty epics. And, and nowadays, ability spamming Warlocks. And I hope you guys are down here because uh, I'm being followed by mobs. Uh, killing name guy in the dead end. I'm trying to find you guys. I'm at the quest entrance. I just killed everything that followed me over. Well, there goes my life dream of saving the dwarf. It took a whopping five points of damage doing it. <laughs> Something just ran away. I'm in the quest. <laughs> kind of have a feeling here that uh, the buffs I'm are just going to get dispelled. <laughs> That's what these guys like to spam. Ah, he resisted it. Spell pen. Yeah, they got that. I don't know, at least half a dozen uh, monster manual kills and things in here. <laughs> in this, just in this stream. Yeah, the Scaro, the newer ones tend not to. You just don't need very many to get them started. Numbers are a lot lower.
I, mean, I, I found it funny, like, the, the Beholders. There really aren't that many Beholders in the game. Yeah, there's really not. There's enough but of them. Th there's, a, there's a decent amount, if, but you have to farm, like, certain quests. Are you talking about the Hunter or the Slayer part? The, the Slayer yeah. numbers. You could go into um, Subterrain or... Uh, What's that quest we should be doing pretty soon here? Invaders. Invaders. But there aren't even in invaders. There aren't that many per run. It's true. You know. I mean, there's a number of quests that they're in. Yeah. But it's it's maybe like a dozen quests I think that have beholders. Just off the top of my head. Oh, he's fine. Is it? Good dozen beholders and invaders. Right, but aren't the, like the beholder slayer numbers like ridiculously high? Well, they're like the same as the kobold, aren't they? I or... No, I thought I thought they were fairly high for the number of yeah actual beholders in the game. Do you, you get a run every quest once? Them all? I think so. I can see that. Yeah. You do? Yeah, you you get a a beholder uh, cosmetic pet. Yeah. I could see that then. You know, making it a little high and let people earn it. The only one I've earned so far is the bat. And the weird thing about it is in Amrath, there's bats that have the exact same names as the ones in VOD, but they don't give you credit. Oh, really? Log that little bug, yep. Had to go do VOD to get it. It's not that I like my... I have a problem with like high like numbers and for the kills. It just needs to be proportional to the number of monsters in the game of that type. Like if you were to just run like all the quests once, you know, I shouldn't I shouldn't have to farm the same couple quests, you know, two thousand times to make a <laughs> dent in the number of kills I need. Whoever is viewing us right now thinks we're high. <laughs> and would they be wrong? I mean, come on. Get this lever pulling thing going. <laughs> uh, I just crashed out. Uh oh. Great. Uh oh. Don't worry. We'll finish the quest. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I got those remnants for you. It's no problem. You mean the hundred that just dropped? And by 100, I really mean 16. Yeah. I got 61 off of one pile and four off the other. <laughs> That's more than I got. Guess that evens it out. It's still an average of 52 per pile. That's pretty good. Wait, do that math again? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you got 100 off of one and four off another. 60. No, I got 60, 61 off of one and four off the other. Oh, I thought you said 100. <laughs> I was thinking my 100. Yeah. And some Bush League math. Well, 52 is right. 54 if I, if it's and 17. Out of 104. If you're going to get on that horse, you've got to ride it. <laughs> So my math was right, I just had the wrong numbers. No garbage gamers in, garbage left out. behind. Being an audio guy, I can respect that. People I know Shamgar totally want Can't to you clean up this up. recording? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I could spend about 12 people hours doing that, or we could spend one just getting it right. Yeah. To your money. Yes, I got a potion of cure moderate wounds. That is my heirloom item. Plus six resistance helm. There you go. Ooh. I'm still wearing the. Uh, I got a box full mask. of paper. 
Oh, remnants. How did I miss these? Probably too busy doing numbers. Probably. Too busy taking his shoes off. It's not counting toes. Well, you gotta know when to hold them, and you gotta know when to fold them. Toes? Yeah. <laughs> or cards. Hey, come on, stop bringing your fetish into our gaming experience. <laughs> this is rated G, right? Yeah, foot fetish has nothing... Uh, I don't rate this. Are you kidding? Rated G. For grossly inappropriate? <laughs> For go hide the women and children? <laughs> We're not that bad. Could be worse. We could be in a Sarlona channel right now. I guess the worst depends on your point of view. We could be in a Sarlona PvP channel right now. <laughs> that would be worse. That's the worst. The worst part about TRing at low levels, you get to hear all the lobsters speak, go back and forth. Seventy-one remnants. Woohoo! Yeah, that pile gave me eight. Come on, math boy, tell me how that's equal. It is because we each got. About 40 on average. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, if you had the rogue icon, I could see uh, how that would play out. As there was only like 12 in here, I don't know. Bluff. Sleight of hand. So in, in this um, Fantasy Ground 5th edition campaign I'm playing in, Every time my rogue tries to do something roguish, I roll like a two, and he's a halfling, which and I could re-roll ones for like skill checks, but I'm like rolling like twos and threes. Oh, no, let me secretly loot the body of the of the boss monster we just killed. <laughs> two. You pretty much get everything out of his pockets and then drop it all over the ground. Hey guys, I I wasn't oh, trying to I... steal his shit. Hey guys, look what I found. <laughs> alright well thanks for watching Video Cosplat uh, we'll be back next week uh, we'll keep doing some more sand stuff and Luster should be back and we'll, we'll work our way towards against the demon queen yes we're doing against the demon queen <laughs> yeah Didn't we already that raid where I pike half the time until the, she comes down and... not the raid not the raid the, uh, the pre-raid oh so we'll see how well that goes. We could find uh, six more sucker I mean, brave souls, <laughs> and uh, we could go in there. Yeah. Get on there. I'm sure we could find some in the guild. 